And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube uh, for the return of Jeskai Giants. I was really impressed with this deck whenever we played it the other day. And uh, we're going to be playing it here through the metagame challenge. We haven't had it too much success yet in the metagame challenge, but maybe a more instant speed deck with some big heavy hitters with these giant creatures will uh, do the trick for us. Um, so yeah, we're playing a bunch of giants. Bone Crusher, Tectonic, and Thrix. And the payoff for playing all these giants is Realm Cloak Giant, the destroy all non giant creatures. So we can have a giant or two in play and still play a sweeper that kills all of our opponent's creatures but doesn't kill our creatures. So that's pretty nice. And then, you know, besides that, we have just pretty decent um, Jeskai colored interaction, including a Brazen Borrower, which is not a giant, but just a, a pretty solid spell at um, being a good tempo card because we can actually end games pretty quickly like tectonic giant hits really hard and so does thrix and you know like we can actually turn the corner pretty fast with this deck um so yeah so let's give this a try the same this is just the same list that we played the last time um, so we're gonna play the standard metagame challenge and looks like i they have depleted my gold resources. We need to do some winning to get some gold back. So here we go. Jeskai Giants. What do you think about no escape instead of veto? I don't I don't know what no escape is. Okay, it costs it costs three mana, not interested. With that slot, we really need a two mana card. The, the deck has all sorts of three mana cards already. The reason why we're playing veto instead of you know sabotage absorb, you know, other other spells is because it costs two. Right now we don't have white mana, so we'll put the veto down to the bottom, even though Temple of Deceit is probably a pretty decent veto matchup. Uh, no, non, I've, I've not played Legends of Rune Terra. No, I have not. Okay, took away Brazen Borrower. Interesting. So I'm just going to be shocking them with Bone Crusher Giant. And then if we draw an untapped land, playing the Giant. Um... I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what to play against besides Brazen Barber. You can definitely play something else. You probably need some kind of removal spell. You know, some kind of like instant speed removal spell. This is pretty unfortunate. We still haven't found white mana. You know, we've gone through 15 cards. Um, could be more could be more counter magic, I suppose, with having this the extra the sweepers. Alright. 
Crazy, 17 cards. No white mana. We have 15 white lands. Yeah, I'm I'm planning on adding different channel point rewards. I guess I could have done that the last couple of days. Finally, why mana? annoying well, that was not a good draw can I discard this Clarion get this Realm Cloak Giant back just switch that up So I have to take Sabotage first, because if I take Teferi first and try to play Teferi, then I won't have Veto back up because we only have one white land. Therefore, I guess I should use the veto so I could have Teferi plus Sabotage. Could be a time just to draw a card if they have, you know, just Black Planeswalker removal like Murderous Rider or something, and I don't get an extra card off of Teferi, I'll feel bad. So it could just be the spot to just draw a card. to discard said a card.
feel very good about winning this game. Doesn't look like we will. I thought... I, th I felt pretty good about it after we resolved the Teferi and stuff, but... Discovery campaign combo is pretty rough. Go, Tectonic Giant, go. Yep. Didn't last too long. Well, that was to be expected. Making this up as I go. It's better than them, you know, drawing three cards with that card, which they could have with the campaigns. Shouldn't tap the castle. Okay, I guess they've, they've just flooded oh, out, I guess, or before. maybe they're just holding counter magic that they can't really use. Yeah, maybe they're just holding a bunch of lands and counter magic. Played a ton of counter magic already. Yeah, Elspeth Conqueror's Death is awesome. Um, honestly, I, I ha don't really have it in here because of just how many fives we have. Like, the deck has like we're pretty full on like three mana cards and five mana cards. Hey, J. Jack.
Hmm. Campaign's pretty tough. Okay, you're you're playing ionize instead of sabotage. Okay, I could see that. Being the easier card to cast, I could see that. So I'm not sure about Disdainful Stroke because like, you know, like they didn't play a, a ton of stuff that Disdainful Stroke actually hits. Yeah, I could have Devout Decree for Ashiok. I think I'd rather just try to counter Ashiok and attack it with the other stuff, but it's definitely an option. I don't love this last Realm Cloak Giant, but I don't really love any of these cards in the sideboard. I think I'm just going to keep the Realm Cloak Giant. All Heliod's intervention does is destroy campaign and and you know campaign already enters and does its thing. I mean maybe maybe that's still worth it. That's all that's all it does. Like if they don't draw campaign or you know if I counter campaign, then it's just a dead card. Don't really like mulliganing against blue black with all their discard spells. I like just keeping my seven. Especially just got a lot of lands here, that's fine. Got all of our colors. We'll cast whatever we draw. <clears throat> but against Thought Erasure, Disinformation Campaign, I really don't want to be mulliganing. Hey Destiny. Don't have to worry about like dying right away. Hmm. I did resolve very quickly. I want to play plain. If I want to try playing Teferi. I guess it wasn't a blue spell, though. They could have Mystical Dispute. Yeah, they do. Should have just played the Giant. Yeah, should have just played the Giant. Hey, Kaysons. Which I... Just kind of realized that. Uh, that was Led Zeppelin. Uh, that was uh, Black Dog. And I just kind of realized I should be playing the giant as, as I was casting the Teferi. It's a little too late. They have a removal. I'm surprised they let me untap and have counter magic. Man, Tectonic Giant's so sweet.
<laughs> yeah. Yeah, giant with counter magic is pretty great. Did they learn their lesson? Are they going to let me untap? Great card for them to have. Hmm. Rewarded for keeping the land. The reason why I kept the land is because I was going to be able to go Bone Crusher Giant plus Sabotage, you know, like hold up Sabotage, because obviously the Vita was going to get exiled. <clears throat> I don't think the Theros cards have worked with Deckmaster as far as, as far as I know. I mean, I, I don't know about the last three days, you know, I haven't been streaming, but... Um, I haven't heard anything about, uh, before that. <clears throat> Silver, with the Twitch Prime sub, welcome to the channel. Try this. Thanks for coming back. Eleven awesome months there for Silver. We can we can let Teferi just take some hits. Not the biggest deal. But now we don't have to worry about them having counter magic. Yeah, now now we have enough giants. Yeah, you're right. There wasn't really enough giants last set. Thanks, Whopper Stopper. Don't make another move. This might be a bad idea. Um, there's a there's not really a tradition, Lord Paku. There's not really a a certain way. Here we go. Is there a single card I lose to more than Agent of Treachery? The answer is no. There is not. Just always lose an Agent of Treachery. Agent of Treachery is the worst. Well, Oko's not in standard. But You're today nothing. I just keep on losing Agent of Treachery.
interesting. I wonder if you're brave enough to overcome your fear. Intimidate me. Thanks, I today. Thanks to the Twitch Prime sub. So I can still counter an agent of treachery, but basically that's it. Looks like they're flooding out again, and it's looking a lot better for us now. Now I think we got this one. I didn't think so before. That they have. I kind of need to save Brazen Bar works if they play another Agent of Treachery and like steal my tricks. Well, if that's their last card. I could have borrower bouts the two three token. I don't know. I don't know why they bounced tricks. So they don't want to target Tectonic Giant, I guess, because then I get cards. And that works.
worked very well. Here goes nothing. Looking good. We're not really countering anything with the Domiscal Dispute at this point anyway. So yeah, I'll just do the three damage to them. Because then we can... Trust we can just bounce. Murderous Rider. Sorry, I'm late. They don't have a lifelink blocker. I've got time. And one, we could re-counter it if they cast it, but obviously they can't cast it because it's a fairy anyway, so it doesn't matter. We gotta win. Can we get two? Thanks, JJ. <laughs> hey, just got to fairy featuring some giants. Nah. No, we're just got giants featuring a Teferi. Yeah, Tectonic Giant did a lot of work for us in that game, for sure. Let's look for some lands. Yeah, yeah, I like it. I like the deck, Matthew. Yeah, I like it. Um, I guess we stomp this Meyer Triton. I don't know exactly what they're doing over here. Sultai stuff. Uh, thanks, Calculus. Thank you so much. I love you, too. to take the fast though. So we've hit three sub goals today. That is awesome. Darn, they didn't take the fast though. You play Ashiok's Erasure on one half of an adventure card, can the other half still be played? Uh, no, I don't. Or, well, whenever you play it on an adventure card, it just exiles the creature part. You could still play the spell part, but it's just the creature part is still exiled.
Hey, what's up, Rankler? Wow, Rankler gifting out 10 subs. Thank you, Rankler. This might be a bad idea. Wow, thank you so much there, Rankler. It gets us to 40. So, Simon says, Frostbites or Nom Nom, Carlos, Yushi, uh, K K1B, uh, CWZ, and T Killa, Meerkat, and Astoria. Got a bunch of new sub hype. Unfortunately, Atreus has a menace, so I can't, I can't just like come down and block with the Thrix and do the surprise block. But it's not really a card that I want to bounce either. sure if I should opt I basically did that to gain life but maybe I should even do that maybe I should just let them go to combat I could opt to try to look for a land so I can have you know hit another land and then have borrower also <laughs> I need to do a 48 hour stream I mean I still have a 12 hour stream uh you know one that we need to get to Probably casualties of war. No, they're not gonna mine us. I think you will find my notes helpful. What? You could you could just mine us and pick up the casualties of war. <laughs> Thanks, JJ. I've done the hero thing before. Let us have a storied battle worth retelling. No tale should be discarded. All right, well, hopefully we hit a counter spell. That'd be nice. Not a counter spell. It's kind of surprising that they're not destroying the red land. surprising. The world's first flying giant, Thrix. That's pretty cool, being a flying giant. 
Hey, Priestess. I'm doing pretty good. That's a, so much life gain with Uro. I have millions of cards in the graveyard. Uh, this is... This is not good. That was not a good card for me to see. That's a giant? Yeah, it is a giant. I'll protect you. <clears throat> yeah, this arrow is gonna be really difficult. does make them That's more like it. Um Doesn't make them keep exiling four cards. Or five cards? Five cards. Maybe they run out of cards eventually. No, this this is gonna be really difficult to win. We're basically looking at like milling them out, I guess. They're at 17 cards left. I just kept on top.
Hey, what's up, Weighty Cakes? Thanks for the tier one sub. Gets us to 41 subs on the day. Don't worry, I got this. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know how I'm ever winning this. Besides them just drawing all their cards. So hoping to get more with the Realm Cloak Giant. You know, like after combat, like maybe they play another creature or something. No, I mean, yeah, like, I, I like Theros a whole lot, Azeroth. Yeah, I, I like the set quite a bit. You don't you don't usually have sets come out and then you get, like, a, a brand new metagame within the first week. It doesn't usually happen. Hey, Higo. It takes time. It's just rotation. You know, like, that happens at rotation, but that's about it. So we kill the Ashiok, then maybe Thassa can't attack. Block this thing. Hopefully. They don't have the mana to tap bar over right now. I 
Down to nine cards. I mean, I don't really have very much left. Ooh, that's not bad. They're down to eight cards. Right on schedule. Don't worry, I got this. That's not bad either. Down to seven cards. Put them all in the graveyard. <sighs> hmm, none in the graveyard. Six cards. That's not good for me. That's not good for me. Welcome back, Ready Pinball. Seven. Throw them in the graveyard. Well, that was a good draw. I'm known for my excellent timing. If Uro wasn't a giant, I would just be ticking up to fairy there. Yeah, we're we're still not gonna really be able to like bounce the wrong, you know, play the wrong cloak giant, bounce the wrong cloak giant. I'd have to play the wrong cloak giant first, and then I'd have to play to fairy, bounce giant, and then cast giant. But Uro's a giant. So they're down to five. I'm surprised they're willing to bounce that. That's surprising. How are you saying Uro isn't a giant? Look, giant. What are, what are y'all talking about? Uro's not a giant. There's a giant right there. Uro's an elder giant. Oh, yes. Love it. Yes. Mill over two cards. All right. They're down to just one.
show remorse, I'll show restraint. I don't like this. I think they got this. I think they got this. They need, uh, they need it, you know, to be able to, they need to have a blue mana symbol beside, you know, like obviously not Uro because Uro kills them. So they need another card with a blue mana symbol. And then they win. Because I didn't find anything else to do besides the Brazen Borrower. That'll do. That's game. Darn, one life. That's all I needed. But it's not let that crisis hit me for 10. Yeah, I mean, that that honestly just doesn't matter. Because they could just tap it with Asa anyway. Like, that doesn't matter. They need a card like this. You know, they need one more card like that. That's exactly lethal. So close. I didn't think I was winning that for a very long time. But we came very close to winning that. Even if just like instead of two sacred foundries, if we would have just had a uh, just a non, you know, just like a regular basic or castle, be able to even put the realm cloak trying to play. Yeah, the the white castle got uh, destroyed with the casualties of war. Uro is kind of a problem. Oh, right, yeah, I could have bounced the Thassa. I don't know why I didn't think I could bounce Thassa for some... Or, no, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Teferi could have bounced Thassa. Yeah, that would have made it so they didn't have lethal attack. Yes, I, I definitely should have bounced Thassa. Yes. I should have bounced Thassa, not Dream Eater. I don't know why that didn't really cross my mind, but yes, I should have done that.
Alcator, thanks for gifting out a sub. It's very nice of you. Every Grace, welcome to the channel. It's our 43rd sub of the day. My Triton's pretty good. I mean, Meyer Triton's just a really good card. I won't be surprised if Meyer Triton's used in a lot of decks. Obviously, I need to just use my Sabotage on that because the Sabotage is going to go away. They're just trying to hit land drops. They get a Paradise Druid. And hopefully the Thrix Brazen Borrower combination can finish this out. Yes, yeah, so they just have to play the Krasis there to gain a life, to try to stay alive. Hey, Airway, good, good to be back. Let's get more red spells in here. Let's do that. Hydro crisis bug. Yuck. Probably fine. Uh, 
but you know, especially seeing all those Paradise Druids, I wanted to have more Clarions, Bone Crusher Giants, that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff. So do I just play Bone Crusher Giant out, or do I try holding up Sabotage? <laughs> I think I hold up the Counterspell. I wish Thrix made your other Giants. What if Thrix said, like, your other Giants have Flash? That'd be pretty sweet. Giants you control have flash. Um. Hmm. I could try to, you know, like surprise block with Thrix. Just bounce with Borrower and get another Tectonic Giant in play to try to get more cards. Tectonic Giant just replacing itself. giant I mean, Opta's good, but honestly, I, I want... I mean, I'm kind of stuck on blue mana just a tad. All I know about the card they took is that they liked it a lot, that they um, kept it on top. Obviously, Hydra Crisis is just a huge, huge problem for me that I do not want to see. I'll take, you know, casualties of war or whatever. Something we can veto. Ashiok. Are they targeting? They're targeting Bone Crusher Giant? You know, when we get in the free card with Tectonic Giant.
got all my red white lands this time. Like I think that might be all of them. <laughs> yeah, that, that is every single red white land in my deck. I just have another blue source. I guess I have to do that. Uh... Aaron Dash, thank you so much. Thanks for the, the resub. Yeah, Uro's a giant. The Titans are Elder Giants. <clears throat> when Mardu Giants be a thing, you could play the other Elder Titan. Yeah, I mean, that could be a thing. Absolutely. I have less than nine minutes. It's not great. No, they're right there with me. Um, I guess so. My Triton's pretty sweet. Yeah, get rid of that casualties. I have found that I don't have an answer to Uro, like at all. I would like to ask about any lunar anomalies you have experienced. Yeah, Uro has just been awesome. much from my ancestors.
Yeah, I just I just don't have any exile in my deck. And so their deck is built around Uro and I do not have a good answer for Uro. No, I don't I don't play too much Brawl. So we ended up going one and one. That was a really good match. That was a really good long three game match. Um, I guess game one I could have won, you know, if I would have bounced uh, the Thassa. They would have ran out of cards that very last turn that they killed me. I just didn't really think about bouncing Thassa for some reason. I just thought, you know, bounce creature, not bounce enchantment. And so that cost me that with the Teferi. Um, so that's kind of the theme of the day so far. Uh, ever, you know, all of these like that's three losses that I could have won. <laughs> you know, one one with each deck that I just make a a misplay of just something I'm not really thinking about. Uh, so you know, not not my best Magic day today, but uh, you know, we're getting back into streaming after having a few days off. Um, that was a that was a good match. That was a good match. Um, yeah, so I like I like this deck. Uh, yeah, we uh, Uro. Um, sure, I, I don't have a good answer to Uro. Um, so I guess it'd be nice to have something, because especially how my opponent's deck um, really maximized Uro also with all of the self mill they had. You know, like they're a self mill Uro deck. It was just kind of a the perfect storm against me. That's that's the other thing is. Opponents playing some really good engine that that's just kind of that's something that I can't answer. That's the other theme of today. Um. So yeah, yeah, we could have Ashiok. Yeah, that would work. Um, that's the that's the second time today that Ashiok in the sideboard would have been really nice. It's the second time for that. Um, so, so things to think about. Yeah, there, there's, there's definitely, you know, exile removal in white, you know, we could be playing exile removal instead of like devout decree or ether gust in the sideboard. Some of those could be, yeah, like some prison realms or anything like that. So things to think about, uh, Yeah. Um... Yeah, maybe Ashiok, you know, maybe the metagame's turning into, like, when, you know, at, at the beginning, I don't really want Ashiok, but maybe the metagame is really turning into more of a more graveyard-centric where Ashiok is getting better and better, and that we should just have a couple of Ashioks in the sideboard, and, you know, we can make room for them. 
that's not too difficult to make room for them. I really have not been playing against like enchantment decks basically at all for these interventions recently. But yeah, that's something to think about. Uh, I could have, um, you know, we don't really need the Awakened Inferno too much either. Do you think Ashiok's Erasure would be good? Uh, I'd, for that specific match, sure, but they would probably just blow it up with, with stuff. Like, they have ways to destroy the enchantments and everything, too. I don't know. <clears throat> All right, but there we go. So that's that's uh, Jeskai Giants. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, I uh, hope you uh, enjoy the deck. You know, to do, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave the comments. But thank you so much for watching some Jeskai Giants, and I'll see you for the next video.